Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is episode 27 of my $25 thrift challenge. And of course today it is super gross outside. It's raining, it's cloudy, and sad. This weekend it's supposed to be 60 degrees, so I guess I do need to thank the rain. As you guys can see, there's a guy behind me in his car. He just pulled up right next to me. And of course I'm trying to film this intro and there's this guy in a car right next to me who's just like chilling. He's just drinking his drink. I think he just came from Sonic and he's eating. But it's like, sir, why do you have to park right there and just like stay there? But maybe he's going inside right now. So I think he's going in. Oh yeah, he's definitely going in. And now he's getting back in the car and I'm still talking to the camera. Oh my gosh, this might be the most awkward intro that I have ever done. Anyway, if you're new to my channel and this series, there he goes back in his car. And the worst part is that I'm gonna see him inside Goodwill and I couldn't just move my car because if he saw me just like drive to a different spot, he would know that I'm avoiding him. But now I have to go into Goodwill that he just walked into and like with my camera be all awkward and be like, Wow, that was just really uncomfortable and I really hope that translated onto camera how just awkward and uncomfortable I am when people are watching. Like always, I'm gonna announce the winner of the $25 off of my online shop at the end of this video, but I'm just gonna end the intro here because honestly, the rain is getting louder. I feel so awkward and I think we just need to start. I don't wanna get out of this car. Please don't make me leave. Why? Do you ever have those thoughts where you're just like, if I had left, 10 minutes earlier I could have avoided all of this but the good news is is that I didn't do my hair today so at least I didn't do that I did put makeup on I thrifted this sweater and when I tried it on I was like oh maybe I'll crop it but it is so good with just black jeans or leggings because it's so long I actually really like how long it is it's super slouchy oversized oh my gosh no Y'all, what the actual heck? Okay, I'm pretty sure that it is actually flooding outside. And honestly, I probably shouldn't have brought my camera out in the rain because this is way worse than I thought. Okay, that was literally so bad. And the screen is like completely covered in water. Um, never doing that again. Sorry, love y'all. But next time it rains like that, I am not taking my camera out. So that was quite possibly the worst experience ever. I don't know why I thought that I could film getting out of the car and putting my umbrella up. And because I haven't shown you guys this in a long time, I'm a little shook by that, but we are gonna start in dresses today. I'm optimistic, you know, I'm open-minded. I'm down for just a big haul. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. I love when great suede gets wet. That's just great. <laughs> Here I am in dresses. Sorry, I got distracted by that first section. There were a couple bags that I had my eye on. Also, update, just saw the guy that was in the car next to me and it was just as awkward as I thought it would be. So I literally just said to myself, you know, I don't really know if I even want to find a dress because, you know, it's fall and you don't really wear dresses. But look how many I found. This gorgeous olive green long sleeve dress that I could definitely wear in the fall. And then look at all these gorgeous reds that I found. I didn't think I was going to find any dresses, but I found four, which is more than I usually do. So now I'm going to go through short sleeve tops since there doesn't seem to be anybody in short sleeves. And the name of the game is to just avoid everybody at the store. <laughs> I didn't find a lot in short sleeve tops, but now I'm gonna go through sweaters, which is what I'm most excited about. So 
So, um, I don't know what it is, but I have been scoring on the sweaters lately. And look at this one. This is so cool. So now I'm gonna go through long sleeve tops and just keep rolling. I feel really good. Obviously, tops are always so easy. It's pants and skirts. skirts and there was one episode that I found this awesome leopard print skirt and I decided to not get it but I can't tell you guys how much I think about that skirt and the regret that I have for putting it back so I have been constantly on the search for another one of those to go through bags but I feel really good about the jeans that I got I got a pair of black and then I also grabbed a couple pairs of denim and then I have these green pants know it's a good episode when I find a handbag and I haven't found a bag in so long but look at this cute little bag that I just found it looks brand new and this eyelet detail on the front I am obsessed with I am so excited about this these are so cute but not my size of course so these would actually fit me but I think I might die in these look how high they are so I also really like this pair but these are a size 8 again not my size I don't know why all the cute ones are not my size. Okay, so I didn't find any shoes, but I got the bag, so I'm pretty much happy. Now I'm gonna try everything on. I haven't hung any of it up yet. I forgot to do that. But um, as you can see, my cart is completely full. So I have a lot to go through, a lot to try on, but I will show you guys what I picked out when I get home. Also, this is my outfit. And like I said, this sweater is awesome with just some skinny black jeans. And then I'm just wearing my white sneakers. But honestly, I thought about pairing this with a really cute pair of brown Chelsea boots, but I knew I was gonna be on my feet for this video But I need to show you guys some outfits of me not in sneakers because I have so many great Fall and winter boots, but I just I don't wear it when I thrift because this is a sport thrifting is a sport And I, I come here to win. I had a lot of hopes for this sweater I thought oh, maybe that neckline will be really cool, but um, it kind of looks like I have a neck brace on So I don't know if I'm feeling this typically I am all for oversized, but this is is just way too big. The reason I picked it up though is because I love these buttons down the side, but super cozy. So I really like this dress. I love the fabric and the color and the sleeves and the waist part, but honestly, I think it's a little too short for my comfort level. So I'm a little confused at the fit of this, mostly like this part. I don't know why it's so scoop neck. And then you have all this like extra down here. I really liked this skirt, but it is just a little too big. See how it falls? It's not supposed to fall like that. Thought I liked this because I thought there was only one slit, but there's two and now I hate this. So this is a very hard pass. So I just got done and because it's my lucky day, I had a $25 reward. I have one of their reward cards, so it's like every time you spend $25 or more, you get a point. And so you guys know I go thrifting every single week. So those points have finally built up to my first $25 reward. So I got a bunch of really great stuff, but I only spent $16. So thank you Goodwill for blessing me today and giving me a $25 credit because that saved me and kept me under budget. But now I'm 
gonna go home and try all this stuff on and show you guys what I got. So now it's time for the try on portion and I just realized that I wore this exact same sweater in my last video. Really sorry if you hate this sweater because this is the second video of this sweater and I don't know how I didn't realize that I was wearing the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and try all the stuff on. Like I mentioned earlier, I got $25 off so I'm feeling really good today. Under budget but I still got some amazing pieces and some really unique ones this time so let's just get into it so we're gonna go ahead and start with the bag because I already showed you it during the shopping portion but the inside is completely clean never ever ever been used there's this large pocket in the back and then there's a zipper pocket that's right in front of it so the zipper pocket kind of acts as a dividing pocket but there's plenty of room I can definitely fit my vlog camera and my other camera in here I actually don't have bags that aren't crossbody or just handled so this is so cute i love that it's a shoulder bag and i'll try it on with like one of the pieces but i think the eyelet details are so unique and make the bag so cute and then i just love the simplicity and the clean lines of this bag so the next thing that i got are a pair of jeans and i didn't actually think i was gonna find jeans they're very high-waisted they fit on the waist really nice and i've never heard of this brand xana d it's probably like a kid's brand i don't even know it i think it is a kid's brand actually because it says it's a size 14 but they're flare legs I'm gonna cut the bottoms off and fray them so these are the jeans and I already cut and frayed them I like to have them a little bit more cropped since I am shorter I love the fit of these jeans I think they look amazing and they are so comfortable and I really do like the dark wash if you guys want to see how I cut and distress my jeans I have an entire video on that that I will leave linked down below in the description box but cutting my jeans has allowed me to thrift a lot more and I really love the look of a distressed pair of jeans anyway so so you guys should check out that video if you want to learn how to make them fray naturally looking. Okay, so the next thing that I got is the Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I just really liked the classiness of this print. I think this will look so good with the heeled brown boots that I have. I can't wait to put together fall outfits. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram. That's where I post my outfits. I don't really do a great job of showing you guys lookbooks, but I have some killer fall outfits that I am just waiting to share with you guys. So if you want to follow me, I will put a little wording here it's just at by chloe win and that's where i post a lot of my looks and this is definitely going to be one of them so this is the tommy sweater and i do feel like it's a little bit masculine but i'm kind of into that i think this would look so cute with heels or a loafer and you could throw like a black blazer over it and make it really classy but i bunched up the sleeves because i like the look of that it seems a little bit more polished and then i tucked it in to give a little bit more shape and then this is a close-up of the pattern next is this polka dot top this is a pretty basic top i feel like a black and white polka dot top really isn't all that special but i don't have one and so when i saw this and i tried it on and it fit really well i kind of just wanted to grab it just to have so this is a pretty classic top and i went ahead and tucked in half of it but i really do love the fit of this top and since i didn't have any polka dot tops i thought this would be a great addition to my wardrobe just something as a staple i think it fits perfectly on my shoulders and my arms and i just really like the cut of this and the next piece that I got are a really cool pair of sweats and honestly I'm just trying to justify a way to wear sweats out in public and still look chic and how cool are these they have this amazing stripe down the side and they look so good they fit perfectly I'm really excited to style these I have a lot of plans for these pants I think the stripe on the side is such a cool look and I wouldn't feel bad for wearing these out in public so I'm a huge fan of these okay and then the last piece that I got you guys are gonna laugh at me and I'm sure Jason's gonna laugh at me when he sees this top because he mocked that green sweater that I got if you guys have seen all of my episodes you know exactly what I'm talking about that hideous green sweater with the orange lining yeah he hates that sweater um and to add to that collection I got a velvet velvet striped top what the heck this is velvet and it's kind of ridiculous and it honestly is something that I probably wore in like fourth or fifth grade to like a Christmas party but this top literally kills me and I honestly cannot wait to see his reaction because this is so 90s I die so I don't know about you guys but I am in love with this shirt and you can hate all you want but the velvet shirt is staying I love that it's a turtleneck and that the sleeves are a little bit cropped I just really like the fit of this and I think it's like a good amount of color without being 
being too in your face. And then this is a close-up of the pattern. Also, I almost forgot to announce this week's giveaway winner and the winner of the $25 off of my online shop this week is Lauren Magda. Thank you so much, Lauren, for subscribing to my mailing list and being a part of my channel. Be sure to check your email and that's where you should receive the $25 credit. If you would like to be entered to win $25 off of my online shop every week, just like Lauren, all you have to do is click the link in the description box and that's how you sign up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode and seeing the disaster of the same sweater and the rain and the guy watching me. I feel like this episode was so just weird. I don't know why. I just feel like so many things happen. But I had a lot of fun with it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece was. I think personally, my favorite piece is the velvet top. I mean, come on, this thing is ridiculous. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you guys back for some more videos. I post on this channel three times a week, but I will see you in my next one. Bye!